So let's see the other tank coatings. One we saw was stainless steel. Next is uh, you have some tank coatings on mild steel. So some ship owners who are not uh, uh, able to afford stainless steel or previously this was what was available. So most of the ships, we you know most of the tanks on most of the ships are made of mild steel. And mild steel gets corroded very easily. So, but it's very affordable in comparison to stainless steel. So it needs a coating for protection from corrosion and pittings and uh, cracks and all the uh, reacting and contaminating the cargo with rust and all. And also for a smoother flow. So there are different types of coating which we do on uh, mild steel, organic or inorganic can be natural and synthetic rubbers or synthetic resin based coatings or paint based coating. So most commonly used coating is this, your uh, epoxy paints, which you uh, must have seen on weather decks, on main decks, everywhere we are using on the deck, uh, epoxy paint. So epoxy paint is uh, generally like in comparison to inorganic paints, a little quite rough, and it has got some micro granules like they are uh, small parts like powder or something and they mix with the cargo uh, and when you discharge them they go with the cargo so the paint coating gets damaged if the cargo is reacting with the paints or generally also so there is a problem with the epoxy paints and if some cargoes are reacting with them they will peel off or remove the paint or corrode it or something then uh, if we, that type of cargoes are being loaded, then for that we have inorganic uh, paints or coatings which are mixed with uh, zinc silicate, can be zinc silicate epoxy paint or without that. So these coatings are quite very smooth and uh, they can most take care of many other cargoes. So these are the two most main and most commonly used coatings, epoxy, Paint uh, organic coating and zinc silicate inorganic coating. And the other one is rubber, which is uh, rubber coating, which is very good for acids. It doesn't react with them and uh, keep the metal safe and tank safe and it's not contaminated also. Then uh, next is uh, synthetic resin based paints or coatings. So resin is like a tough and hard uh, material. Uh, the closest example is like the products of when this crude is re refined or something like tar which are using for uh, making the roads and all also. So that's a, a closer example of a resin. So that is mixed in the paints to make it hard or good. So then it does not react with some chemicals but it's expensive uh, depending on chemical. So depending on the which cargo which we are to load and how is the reactivity of that cargo with the paint, we will choose the coating. Also while making the storage plan, we have to see that what type of coating we have in the tanks and will the cargo is reacting with that or not. And uh, it will uh, make the paint good or worse or how is it. So we have to see that uh, especially when we are painting also in tank we have some rust or somewhere and if we do paint so we have to paint with the same maker and this thing is very important if you get some other uh, maker or manufacturers paint it will, will not be of same composition and it will not blend properly or something so even when you're doing in like five years dry docks and all these coatings are done but then again, uh, it's a make, same maker has to be kept in mind because it's a very costly affair and uh, a lot of cargo and money is involved because of that. Then you have this tank coating guide. This tank coating guide on the ship, it will mention uh, which kind of uh, tank coating is suitable for which kind of cargo. And there's a pH range for given that, uh, for that cargo. So uh, which pH range, which tank, type of tank coating is suitable that uh, will be given in your tank coating guide and which you can refer. 
also your certificate of fitness uh, for noxious liquid substances nx2 so in your certificate of uh, fitness in the appendix there is a list which uh, mentions the list of cargos and in which tanks you can carry that is also made as per in uh, alignment with this tank coating guide so you can also refer that directly uh, if your certificate of fitness mentions that you can load that cargo in this tank that means uh, it's complying with your tank coating guide so that's um, mostly about what here about this uh, tank coating so then uh, next uh, point about coating which we have to keep in mind is uh, when this zinc silicate is a silica is something like your you call the sand which you find on the beaches silica or sand so that uh, modified or treated version of that is uh, put in some paints but uh, again it's like a leaching paint no? uh, like your anti fouling paint the layer of the paint keeps coming out so when you are doing tank cleaning pressure there is a certified pressure which is taking account of your this paint layer also so suppose 8 bars is designated to tank cleaning machine jet pressure so you should not exceed much of that pressure because uh, if sometimes we do because of uh, getting a good wash of the tank but uh, it can leach out your paint uh, damage your tank uh, paint coating so tank cleaning pressure should not be increased then uh, these layers are generally like one layer coating is not like you know you normal deck paint we are doing first primer coat then first coat second it's just a one layer coating and uh, there are different types of okay either it is epoxy or modified epoxy so modern uh, ships are ca carrying this modified epoxy modified epoxy is like uh, it is like like further cured as some uh, modified with some other curing agents and uh, then it has got a better uh, heat resistant and uh, better adaptability with the cargo so epoxy is like generally you have this hardener plus paint and you mix a paint and uh, then you paint in uh, approximately 30 minutes otherwise this paint to get starts getting damaged and then when you apply it there's no sticks to the metals so these are the points which you have to uh, keep in mind when we are doing this uh, tank coatings